there is not a consensus right now in the U.S. government about exactly how COVID started. Three years after COVID-19 swept over the world, there's still debate about how it first began. Good evening, I'm Mary Coleman. Dan Maurice has the night off. A new report from the Department of Energy suggests the COVID-19 pandemic started after the virus leaked from a laboratory in Wuhan, China. But the assessment was made with, quote, low confidence, meaning it may have been made with weak data or limited intelligence. The White House says the jury is still out on the origins. Several agencies believe the virus was first transmitted from animals to humans at a Wuhan wet market. 13 News reports outside of the University of Arizona and Alex, you spoke with a researcher there. What is he saying about this latest report? Mary, researchers here at the University of Arizona who conducted their own study on the origins of COVID-19 aren't convinced that the COVID-19 pandemic started in that Wuhan lab. If the evidence suggested it had been a lab leak, I would be here to tell you about that. Michael Warby, the head professor of the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at the UA, published his own findings back in 2021. He says all the evidence he found points to an animal market in Wuhan, China, as the epicenter of the pandemic and not a lab. This particular pandemic doesn't appear to have started that way. And we do need to remember that nature is the worst bioterrorist out there. Professor Warby says the Department of Energy's assessment uses data based on weak evidence and not science. He says his team can pinpoint the actual market in China that was selling live wildlife like raccoon dogs and civets, which were responsible for the first SARS outbreak 20 years ago. The science is the science. And at the end of the day, it's really important to remember this is a scientific question that is addressed by scientists who have the expertise and who have collected the evidence and analyzed it. Warby welcomes any new findings on how the COVID-19 pandemic started and and hope scientists will soon know the cause because he believes knowing more can help prevent another pandemic from happening. What I hope we could do is, again, follow the science, follow the evidence wherever it goes, and then try to deal with this without pointing blame, but just try to understand what happened. Professor Warby is expected to have a public lecture this upcoming Wednesday where he's going to talk about the origins of COVID-19. If you aren't able to make that discussion, we are told there will be a link to a live stream, which we'll have on our website, KOLD.com. But for now, reporting from Tucson, Alex Valdez, back to you, Mary.